Hi guys, in this video today I'm just going to show you some things you can do with a single band uh, working with a uh, super band or resistance band, whichever you want to call it First one I'm going to do is a step up to press Okay, so just make sure your heel is on the wall or the bench, whatever you're using and just drive up through the heel, breathe out keep your forearms upright and press up into the air, okay? Right. So this one is just a good old squat press, okay? So up you go, breathe out, keep your heels on the ground, good squat form, good squat pattern, and press up into the air, okay? So now we have a variation of progression to that squat where you're just using a single arm, so you're going into a unilateral work, so you're integrating a little bit more core and isolating one side, okay? So a bit more core work, a bit more trunk work involved in that one. So now we're going to go split squat to chest press. So keep your front heel on the ground. Try and keep your trunk or your torso nice and upright. Get the band around the palms of the hands, not around the thumbs, and press out as you're coming up, okay? So now I'm in a plank position doing a prone shoulder press, okay? So with this one, I like to get my trunk behind it. Make sure you're turning your trunk into the exercise, not just isolating your shoulder, okay? Get your body moving and assisting behind it. So now we're going to put two moves into one. It's a lower upper combo, okay? So it's a deadlift to bend over row, okay? So come down into a deadlift, and then when you come down to that low deadlift position, do your bend over row. Just try and keep your good posture, shoulders together. Maybe a little bit better than I have there. So this one now, I'm going to put the, the, the band on my lower back, not high up around my shoulders. So first of all, I just showed you a, poop, um, a variation where you're just moving your legs. Now you're going to come down into a spider push-up, so your chest is working a bit, a bit harder there, okay? So this one is like an upright roll to a uh, jack, okay? So like a, like a jump jack variation um, motion. So I'm using my glute meads and my shoulders and getting a bit of metabolic conditioning at the same time, okay? So, this one is a bit of a slower variation, so I'm going to do some lateral walks to upright rows, same muscle groups involved, so I'm going glute meads and um, shoulders, okay, so four steps, five steps, three steps, four upright rows, whichever, whichever you want to do it, okay. Um, this is a standing overhead tricep press extension, okay, so keep the band on the center of the foot, um, get the trunk trunk into it and press up into the air, okay, nice and upright, good posture. Just some simple hammer curls there with the band, okay, so I'm using one foot here. If I wanted to put more tension on the band, I just step on it with the other foot so I've got more tension on the band there and I'm working my arms a little bit harder, okay. So now I've just um, anchored the band to, to the fence there, okay. So I'm going to do some resisted lateral shuffle. So I'm going like two or three steps, bump, bump. So it's my outside foot that lifts off the ground first and my inside foot is doing the initial work, okay? So this one is a horizontal vector chest press variation. So now you see me, first of all you see me, I'm not rotating the trunk, it's anti-rotation. Then I'm getting some more trunk rotation into this more transverse plane, like you see me do now, okay? So, Great for developing explosive hip power, so just some skier swings, okay? If you want to take that to the next level, you can just do some resisted broad jump, jumps, okay? So, but as I say, great way for getting some more, develop more hip power in the hip extension, okay? So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'll keep doing more videos. Thanks, goodbye.